Hi students, welcome to another video session which discusses about ethical consideration in nursing research. So, why ethics is important in nursing research? We will go through in this video. So, what is ethics? As you all know, ethics is a moral code of conduct which defines the right or wrong behavior in a civil society by the individual. So, it, it ethics is nothing but moral code of conduct so when we do research in nursing we should follow some ethical principle so we will discuss about this ethics in nursing nursing research in this video so what are all the objectives in of this video is to understand the definition of nursing research basic ethical principles importance of ethics in nursing research code of ethics in nursing as well as nursing research informed consent and its element process of getting a consent and publication ethics so what is ethics in nursing research it is defined as act of moral principles which the researcher has to follow while conducting nursing research so while conducting the research the researcher has to follow some basic moral principles which is called ethics so why it is important in nursing research because it helps to protect the vulnerable group and other study participants from any harmful effects so due to the experimental interventions in research if there is any harm happens to the participants or the group that is vulnerable group or nothing but the patients so there is this ethical principle protects the patients participants are safeguarded from exploitation of researcher in the name of exploitations in the name of research the researchers can exploit the patients um, and their safety so in that case this ethics prevents them from the exploitation establish a risk benefit ratio so every study which has been selected will be calculated for risk and benefit so if the benefit is more than the risk it is considered for the research or it is cleared from the ethical committee in a institution so you have to calculate the risk benefit ratio before conducting a study ensure the fullest respect dignity privacy disclose of information and fair treatment for the study subjects so when you do a research you should follow or respect the human dignity privacy and confidentiality build the capability of subjects to accept or reject participation in the study so every individual or study participants has a right to accept or reject the participation during the study or before the study to have access to informed or written consent for participation so this ethics gives a importance of consent before the participation of the research so these are all the areas why it is important to follow ethics in nursing research to protect the vulnerable group from the harmful effect to protect and safeguard from the exploitation of the researchers to calculate the risk benefit ratio and to accept the and respect the dignity and confidentiality of the participants and as uh, subjects acceptance and rejection of the participation of study which has been accepted and informed consent should be get before participation of the research ethical principle in nursing research so there are five basic principle in nursing research the first one is principle of beneficiency that is nothing but every research should have some benefit to the participants and to the society principle of respect of human dignity so it is nothing but when we do a human trial in research so the human dignity should be respected and accepted so for that we need informed consent from every individual participants who is going to participate in the study principle of justice so whatever the research we do it should be a legal one when we according to the ethical principle so any illegal or malpractice should not be considered while doing a research so everything should follow the justice 
non maleficients that is no harm to the patients so the participants or the patients who are involved in the study should not have any harm so if there is any harm or adverse effects happens that should be compensated by the researcher confidentiality and anonymity so it is nothing but the informations or the data collected from the participants should be kept confidential so only the researcher and the statistician should know about the data collected from the participants so these are all the ethical principles principle of beneficence principle of respect of human dignity principle of justice non maleficence and confidentiality and anonymity the next is code of ethics in nursing i don't want to go in detail about this ethics in nursing because you have studied it in first year foundation yes there are five code of ethics ethics in nursing that is nurses and the people nurses and practice nurses and coworker nurses and profession and nurses and legislation so this is the basic code of ethics in nursing every nurse should be aware of this how to how to protect the people how to keep your uh, competencies and the skill level in practice how to behave and communicate with the coworkers how to uplift your profession and how what are the professional etiquettes you should follow while in nursing and nursing and legislation that is your registration and under your council so all these things are very basic code of ethics in nursing so along with this there are some eth code of ethics in nursing research which you should remember the first one is principle of respect and protection so whoever the study participants is you should respect them and you should protect them and you should maintain confidentiality and respect their culture and autonomy and there should not be any harm given for the study participants so you have to make sure when doing research or while in research process there should not be any harm principle of transparency the aim objectives and the procedure what they are going to conduct in the research and what is the possible outcome should be clearly explained to the participants in the research so all those benefits and risks should be transparent to the participant and the experience in the area where the research is done according it should be according to the researcher's knowledge so whatever the adverse effects or the risks and benefits should be clearly given for the participants so there should not be any dishonest in those areas so that is principle of transparency principle of professionalism so you should know your professional code of ethics and you should know where your knowledge is and what are all the scientific findings all these things should be very clear when you conduct a research and there should not be any plagiarism that means you are not supposed to copy paste others content into your research so when you do a research you should follow your professional code of ethics and your knowledge limit you should understand and there should not be any plagiarism the next one is principle of accountability so a written contract or a written consent should be obtained from the patient by explaining clearly all the legal terms so when you conduct a research the participant should know what are all the about a complete research and all the doubt should be clarified and a written consent should be obtained so these are all the four principles under code of ethics in nursing research that is principle of respect and protection principle of transparency principle of professionalism and principle of accountability so informed consent is a very important aspect in ethics whenever you conduct a research the consent form is very essential from the participants so what is informed consent it is a mutual agreement between the researcher and participants for participating in the study so it is a mutual contract signed by the participants which is between the researcher and the participate participating subjects in the study 
so what are all the important aspects of consent form it is for getting a consent you have to be open and honest in communication is needed so you have to be honest and open to the participants confidentiality and anonymity should be maintained throughout the research consent it is a voluntary process you cannot force anyone to the study valid witness is necessary especially in case of pediatric or old age groups it should be written in local language so the consent has to be written in the local language so that the participants can study and understand if participant is illiterate mentally challenged then a guardian can give the consent if you are going to do a research on a uh, study groups where they are illiterate or mentally challenged then a guardian should give the consent if the study is conducted in a village or community consent should be obtained from the village leader or panchayat for example if you are going to conduct a study in the institution the institution head should give the consent so same like that village or community leader has to give the consent for the study these are all the important aspects while getting a consent the next is elements of consent so what are all the elements comes under a consent form so if you are going to construct a consent form you should make sure all these elements are included in the consent so the first one is purpose or objectives of the research study should be clearly explained in the consent form so the first objective and purpose of the study should be clearly explained in the consent form expected duration of the study should be mentioned for example if it is 3 months the months or the year year of study duration of the research should be explained description of the procedure and intervention has to be given in the consent form actual and potential risk involved in the study has to be clearly explained benefits to the society and individual so all the risk and benefit of the study should be clearly given in the consent form measures to maintain confidentiality this word has to be there in every consent form whenever you make it because the confidentiality of the study participants should be mentioned compensation if any adverse effects happens so that has to be mentioned like whether it is a money or any other form of compensation it has to be clearly given contact person and their details and phone number has to be given in the consent form so the person or the participants of the study can contact the person if needed right to withdraw or refuse to participate in the study that statement has to be clearly given so that the participant should know they have a right to refuse or withdraw from the particip- from the study so these are all the elements which are very very necessary when you are constructing a consent form the purpose or objective of the study expected duration of the study description of the procedure should be clearly given actual risk and potential risk as well as benefit of the study has to be clearly mentioned and maintaining confidentiality and right to withdraw and refuse to participate has to be clearly written in the consent form so that the page, uh, participants are aware about it and compensation if any adverse effects happens and contact details of the person in case of any issues should be mentioned in the consent form so what is the ethical issues happens while publication of a research article so while publishing and research article what are all the issues may happen that is ethics while dissemination of research are very very important these are all the following um ethical principle you should remember while publishing your article in the journal or communicating it in the present um conference maintain confidentiality maximum permissible limit of plagiarism is 12 percentage that is copy pasting content can be accepted only up to 12 percentage need to copyright for authorship should be submitted to the journal so there should be authorship copyright which is to be submitted to a journal or company 
mention institutional ethical ethics committee so you should mention the institutional ethics committee from where you are doing the research there should be a clear acknowledgement and gift authorship should mentioned in the research guide of the research guide in the abstract or article as second author so you should mention the guide name as a second author and the acknowledgement and institutional committee ethical committee should be mentioned in the publication so we have discussed the definition of ethics and the importance of ethics in nursing research what are all the principles of research ethical ethics in nursing research code of ethics in nursing as well as nursing research and informed contents informed consent and its elements we'll see you with another content in the next video thank you